will be playing through the Nerf World DLC, which is free to download. Even if you have zero mine coins like me, you can check out this Nerf X Minecraft adventure. I think brand collabs in Minecraft are getting wilder and wilder by the week, it seems, and this is one where Nerf are putting the bill entirely. So if you want to check it out, uh, the only downside is you have to play with a lot of Nerf themed things in Minecraft, which is bizarre given Minecraft's stance against guns. But we'll be seeing exactly what the DLC has to offer, and presumably, just like any other uh, map that is funded by a big company, they want you to have a good time, so you associate it with their brand. And let's see if we have one of those. To Today. Hello, I'm IBX Soy Cat, and let's play Nerf World all the way through uh, for today's live stream, which should be a lot of fun. So this is uh, this is how the marketplace works. A lot of people will be experiencing it for the first time, uh, but on this channel, I do like to go through various maps and show them to you to help you out in terms of is it worth your time, your download space, not usually your money, but in this case, uh, just is it worth those two things primarily? We'll be finding out. So hello. I am looking forward to today. Good to see you, by the way. Uh, Josh Lyles, Heroes Trademark, Alex C, Angler Van Kattenhout, Jaden Ogden, uh, as well as people like Hexaterran, Lexi, and McBella. I'm glad to see you all showing up here today. Um, and by the way, this is a full mashup pack. It has to be mentioned. It looks like it's just a world, but actually, as you can see, it's changing uh, our textures, which is one thing. We got some free skins, which is another, and even crazier. Oh, yeah, look at this. Even crazier, it's a full world to check out from Orville Studios. Nerf World. So this is, um, yeah, Minecraft maps really are getting wilder, right? Look at this. There's a full menu element inside of the game. Let's press to start. And uh, I'm going to say we're going to run a console for now. We're not actually, but it's based on the input method and probably will change some other settings. So I'm on a console. Keep that in mind and maybe give me some friendly menus. By the way, it's Nerf or Welcome Nothing. Nerf World. Oh, voice acting. Take some time to read the information boards. Okay. And adjust your settings. I will. Once Thank you. Ready, proceed through the doors. Oh, that's weird, chat. Doesn't it feel like you shouldn't be able to jump on top of these? This feels wrong. Oh, look at the way you walk too. Oh God, why am I walking like this? No, something is wrong. Oh Lord, look at this chat. Okay, let's <laughs> let's not focus on that too much. Instead, let's go through the settings. Uh, FOV can be altered. Okay, th this is fine. I've got that set up, and uh, yeah, this is everything. This is going to be so much better than the villager nerf. P.S. I think I won the tip race. Toy Kaz, yes. Thank you, Jake Lee out. The first tip of the live stream today. Indeed, I think you have officially done so. Uh, I always appre. Ooh, she ate it. So stand in awe of brilliance of the first dart. Well, it's oh. not the actual it one, forces you to be in third person, by the way. Smaller and spongier. It's so this weird. Just show. We've prepared oh. a practice range for you through the doors on the left. Let's see what you can do. Uh, that was that was one of the weirdest things I've ever had a Minecraft map do. By the way, this was already very high quality for a Minecraft map, a free one at this. Uh, yeah, I do uh, a free one at that even. I do think that is something that has to be said is like the the upside to these weird corporate deals is that you get to play through something high quality for free with very little effort required, which is kind of nice. And all you gotta do is put up with the occasional nerf branding, and by occasional I mean probably a lot more than that. So let's pick up the training blaster. It's a chicken, so it's entirely okay, it's not a gun. And let's shoot some things. Ah, we gotta shoot a chicken. Oh, it's hard though. Okay, I can shoot some in. <laughs> it's weird, I... Okay, so hit five moving targets of your blaster. You have to kind of preempt where the target's going to be. Um, which is, I guess, makes sense. They're not bullets, they're, uh, they're kind of things like this. But just like this, uh, we can say that we are a nerf hero. Wow. Yeah, look at I'm me. Kind it's of kind of fun, actually. I like that. that. Some good blasting. Thank you. I do my okay. best. Let's kick things up a notch. I've prepared a little obstacle course for you. Okay, this is really cool. That, and I'll be really impressed. Oh, and try to hit all the targets on the way. Okay, so... This one. Genuinely, pulling this off in Minecraft is impressive. Like, if, 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 they pull, if they made this game from scratch, it would be something. But they're doing it with the limitations of Minecraft. Which is kind of crazy, right? So, um, there's kind of like a training run that you want to do as fast as you can. And uh, that's what we'll do today. Uh, it's funny because you can imagine there's a speedrunning community that's going to be like, how fast can you do it? It does give you a timer... Uh, which is really the biggest thing. Is that a target I have to hit? Yes, it is. We jump over this now. Hit this on the right here. Okay, mess that up a little bit. It's weird, but it's fine. We got it. 
There's target nine. Here's target ten, I think, if we can hit it. There we go. Um, yo, Christ. Okay, so it's a little bit weird. I would love to go to this place in real life, by the way, right? Am I the only one thinking that? Like, this- oh, no, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, this looks like one of those, uh, fun yet silly, uh, courses. Run around the outside, get back in. That's another one I have to hit, but I'll do it from here. Just wonderful. Yeah, I think, um, I- I, I feel like this is, uh, I, I think it's a good sign for a map when they can encourage you, like, oh, yeah. I would like to go here in real life. Give me a Nerf gun. And then give me one of these things. Sorry, not a Nerf gun. A Nerf blaster, as they are putting it. And then put me in one of these places and I'll have a great time. Also, I can't believe I didn't avoid those. It seems very easy in retrospect. But here we go. I have officially done my little obstacle course in only 1 minute 15. Okay, that's actually pretty bad, I feel like. <laughs> we can do better. Oh no, apparently it's great. I've done this before. Let's go get you your own blaster. Yeah. I have, haven't I? I'll be needing that practice no, back. no, my Thank chicken. You. Don't you dare take my little rooster. Anyway, um, so this was the first. As you can see, these zombies are very excited by it. Um, now we're going to be going into the arena or the shop. I guess we need to go to the shop, logically ah, speaking. Blaster shop. And let's see what it's we can buy. From here. It's a bit confusing Wait, that they are nerf books I found laying around. like this is a sword, right? Just this for a is a shot. axe. Take your pick. So, they, okay, the blasters in this are all crossbows. Oh, no, never mind. So, we can basically only buy... We can't buy any of the cool things, like the Ender Dragon. Instead, we have to just buy a colored one of these. I... What, what mob do you like best, chat? I think the Ghast is the... Oh, yeah, we can't afford the Ender Dragon. I think, logically speaking, a Cave Spider or a Ghast. Yeah, let's go with a Ghast. I feel like... Oh, insufficient nerf bucks. No, I have enough. Okay, so we'll go over ghast. Yeah, look at this. And now I can use my ghast when I go to the arena, which is over here. So this is the bulk of the game now, I imagine. We'll play on regular difficulty and we'll just jump in, I guess. Oh, I have to interact with it to equip. Okay, no, I missed, I missed the key step. When you buy something, you have to then equip the thing. There we go. So now we can shoot. Oh, interesting. Look at that. Weird gun anima- Look how weird this is. Objectively, right? But let's go to the arena now. Look at this camera. I'm controlling like normal, but the camera is not looking at it. It's very, very, very strange. Um, big fan of your stream, says the real mushroom. Awesome. I, uh, I want to spend- I, I want to use streams as an opportunity to explore all of these weird collabs that come out. Because there always is a lot of effort going into it, right? So, let's continue the arena. Start fresh from round one when entering the arena. Okay, it just told me what to do, but I wasn't listening. So, do we go back to the practice range? Is that what they're asking for? Do we shoot some more stuff? Make sure it's all good. Okay, I've shot- I've shot some stuff, it's great. Let's- let's go into the arena. I think that's the whole point. 1v1 me on Minecraft Rust. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of want to shoot some people with my gun, but they don't seem to care. Sorry, my Nerf blaster. i got to stop saying gun. This is distinctly not a gun, uh, obviously. But, um, yeah, the door isn't opening, chat. I, uh, I should have been paying attention. Oh, also we got a weird... So we'll hit reset progress, continue progress. Yeah, start, start round one. Doesn't work. We'll try the other way. Continue progress. Also not working. Um... So we have to select the arena by shooting the arrows. Oh, interesting. Yep, yep. Could have totally paid attention and seen that. End arena, never arena, overworld arena, and nerf arena. So I kind of want to go overworld first, logically, right? So in we go. Oh, Christ. Welcome to the nerf arena. Are we going to go through the portal, do you think? This is pretty cool. Like, this is, this is some good engineering here, right? But, um, yeah, let's go through the portal and start the nerf experience. Look at this. This is, this is insane that they can do this as a Minecraft map. Uh, yeah, let alone a free one, obviously. But, you know, the, it's free, but it's still paid for by someone, just not this. Also, thank you for becoming the 403rd channel member, Holly Caps Heron. Really appreciate it. Okay, so, my plan is simple. I'm going to shoot things that come at me. You just have to complete 20 rounds, so I'm guessing, like, there we go. 
If we just stand on the minecart track, it's a lot easier to hit things. This is this is weird, huh? So there's a whole world, but there's just random stuff going around it we have to hit. Also, what does the lever do? It makes the is this safe to be in here? Do I want to be trapped inside? Or am I specifically trying to find mobs to kill right now? Is that a bigger challenge? I'm not too sure. Oh no, gotta hit him. Damn it. <laughs> we'll get this guy. No, he won't. Damn it. No, he will not. I know. I've I've shot precisely two enemies so far. No, nope, two two enemies now, I think. Okay, so there there are actual challenges that are gonna start to build, presumably. Some of these are not as easy as others, but there we go. Round complete, six enemies dead. I don't know what the what the enemies were there. Are we oh, do we just kill creepers to get dart packs? With the Yeah, I think the zombies are the main enemy. I think that's the name of the game here. Yeah. Oh and but there are creepers that will mess you up. I think that's it. I think that's the I think that's what's happening. So now shoot some creepers just for fun. Damn it, it's so hard. <laughs> Um, shoot creepers for fun, but kill zombies for actual game. And those creepers outside of a minecart are extra worth worrying about. I kind of want to know if you can hit stuff. Like, I know you can buy blasters or, like, uh, you can buy swords. But I kind of want to know if you can benefit from not. Whatever. It's, it's fine. Oh, I've got to, I've, I've really got to do better than standing on the minecart tracks. I, I thought it was so easy to avoid at first, but it seems as though that's not actually true. So we can sit here and we can shoot every time. But that seems kind of risky, because every now and then there will be another one. Yeah, if you want to make your game a little harder, this is it. But yeah, this is a horde-based survival, which actually is something I love. I love, you know, I, I used to spend a lot of time playing uh, COD Zombies um, while I'd, uh, uh, you know, listening to podcasts or something. It was like my main podcast game before Minecraft, and then even a little bit after I played some Minecraft. So having a horde base, I'll oh, get tan. <laughs> bad, bad timing. Uh, having one of these is great, right? Also, can we see the bull pit? Would you like to? Let me jump you in. So we've got a lot of nerf coins already. This is the bull pit. As you can see, you get trapped inside and you just kind of move slowly. Um, I kind of look around the rest of the world though. So we'll shoot the creeper wherever he is. He's going to show up. He always does. And then we're going to shoot these guys. They have a lot of health. And uh, again, you can't hit things. There is no, um, what's the word? Like, there's no melee attack. Oh, but there are a lot of other enemies. Okay, so we'll run past this. Try not to get slimed. Try not to get, ooh, skeleton bowed either, apparently. They know how to mess people up. And uh, we're also gonna just look around because that seems fun. Oh yeah, this is, this is a surprising challenge. Like you'd figure like, surely Minecraft with guns should be easier. Or Minecraft with blasters should be so much easier. But it seems not to really work that way. The good news is we got plenty of darts. Oh no, not the slimes. They're split in half. Um, yeah, the good news is... Is everything seems to be uh, working just fine. And now we get a boss round. Yeah, this is, this is great. So we just gotta stay away from the witch. Shoot her from afar. Right in the head before she can do anything to me. No, oh, but there are also other enemies. Okay, therein lies the problem, I guess. But the witch does have a health bar, so we just ignore everything else until she's dead. Yeah, easy. Get me some good money, hold 20, 20 nerf bucks. Sasquatch, should I clean while my client is out? Or take a nap? You know, Sasquatch 2300, the solution is always do 5% of the cleaning task. And then if you feel like you need, oh no, I'm trapped in a corner. Uh, it's going badly for me, chat. I'm in a level view here. I am not doing well. Um, yeah, do 5% of the task, maybe 10%. And if you don't feel like it's important after that, take the nap. That's what I would recommend. So yeah, everything's got a weird texture to it in this. Like it's Minecrafty enough to be recognizable and fun, but also at the same time, it has a real fun, distinct extra feel to it. You know, the nerf people got what they paid for with this, that's for sure. Um, that is very obviously a blaster, not a gun. Minecraft has specifically said they will never add guns. Exactly, it's so clearly not a gun. There is no similarity between this and a weapon. Uh, sorry, this and a gun. Uh, it is a weapon that is not a gun. Don't see how anyone can get it confused. There is no way uh, that I can imagine. Also, this map is actually quite huge, huh? Like, you can, you don't have to explore the whole thing. But if you want to, oh, then you'll find some creepers, which is nice. Oh, okay, not again. 
So, yeah, I think this is probably quite handy for getting around and avoiding enemies. Like, that slime physically can't hurt me if I just stand up high and do this. And, uh, yeah, by the way, we're on round six, so we're going to end up with enough money to buy a really good blaster after this, hopefully. Which will be nice. But, yeah, I, I like these environments. It feels like a, um, to level with you, it feels like one of the Minecraft gatherings they did for, like, Tales and Trails. Everything's got a little bit of a fun texture on it. Kind of implies it's something different. But it's in that still Minecrafty art style. Also, oh, this is weird. Look at this. Oh, yeah. There, there are ramps in the game, but the textures haven't kept up, so you do a weird thing on them. When do the Hellhounds spawn? I think the Witch was the Hellhound, which is a shame, because, you know, the Sand Witch would have been a much better mob. We could have licensed it to them, uh, Deshi. It would have been much better. Uh, but, yeah, for now, it's going pretty fun. I do think there's a bit of an enemy variety problem right now. But the, the boss wave is, is a fun way to split that up, if nothing else. For now, let's pick up some darts. No, jump boost. Oh, there we go. That's fun. Let's do some trick shots now. Yeah, look at this. Trick shots so hard. And, um, yeah, this has all of the, like, things in the making to be a really cool, um, horde-based, uh, game mode, right? I, I like what I'm seeing so far. Um... I think, obviously, you probably could get more fun out of this in multiplayer. Uh, I think that's probably true for a lot of Minecraft things there, right? Also, oh, fun, we got a raid chat! Oh, that is really fun. We're gonna still avoid... Oh, yeah, this is scary. We got to It's funny because they've got hammers or something, but... Uh, <laughs> that is a really, really, really fun, goofy idea. I like it a lot. Um, the Warden is level 20, says uh, Seb P. I could believe that, actually. Like, the... Uh, the slow ramping up of the difficulty here. Uh, you know, we've gone from just a zombie to zombies and spiders, to zombies, spiders, creepers, etc. Maybe this is going that direction. Could totally believe it. For now, we're going to try and get as many of these killed by creepers as we can. Because the fewer that we have to kill, the easier our life is. Yeah, this is a... Uh, oh, okay. Is this a bouncy pad, do you think? It is! Whoa! Wow. Again, this doesn't feel like Minecraft in a way that is really quite interesting to me. Like, do you think do you think that's what they were going for? Or do you think that it's, uh, you know, do you think these, like, non-Minecraft... It feels like Minecraft and the enemies and a little bit of the game design, but it's got this really strong twist of something else on there. Like, it's a whole different game. Keep in mind, you no longer get infinite bullets. Um, if you look at my bullet counter in the bottom right, because you can pick up any bullets you fire, and they're giving me, like, packs of them, I think it's working out as basically infinite. Oh, there's a Vex, by the way. That's scary, actually. It's working out as basically infinite. Um, I'm going to spam it as fast as I can shoot, because I can always pick them all up later. As long as we're walking backwards and not getting uh, snuck up on, I'm going to do great. And I'm going to keep going until I have 5,000 coins, by the way. If I get that, then I'll allow myself to die. Because this is this is actually pretty cool. It feels less Minecraft because of the pew pew gun uh, that you've got. Oh, sorry, the G-U-N. You know, don't you dare say the gun word around Mojang. Um, yeah, I do think... Uh, I, I think that's probably part of it. But also, look at the design. Like, this is clearly a blacksmith. There better be a blacksmith chest, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, ruined. Ruined my day. But yeah, look, I've, I've got 157 darts now. Is that... Is that how many I need? I'm not so sure that it is. Also, do you think I can close this gate too? Or it's only this one over there? I kind of want to know. I've got 212 darts now. I think it is fair to say I will not be having a shortage anytime soon. So here's the plan. I'm going to sit right here. Let them come through the gates. Oh no, they can bounce. <laughs> Unexpected. Um, let them come through the gates. And then as soon as too many of them do, I'll jump over this gate to the other side. I don't think there's full damage on this, which means if I jump around here, um, I should be able to... In fact, can I just hide over here? Do you think I'm going to get shot from up here? Oh, yeah, I will by, by Vexes, who will then knock me into even worse things. Um, the uh, the blast you're holding looks weird. What's it supposed to be? It's a ghast. If you look at it carefully from head on, um, it's a little bit hard to shoot from this angle. But as you can see, I'm shooting from a gas mouth right now. I mean, I'm not actually, but you can see how it's meant to look like that. 
Also, I'm pretty proud of myself for playing the game uh, Reverse Bird Person, actually killing quite a few people. Also, we got an Evoker, Evocation Illager. That sounds scary. I need to keep away from it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's real scary sounded. So I'll run up here, where I will be safe. Is that the Evocation Illager? Oh, we got lots of these guys to shoot. Lots and lots of them. Oh, and creepers to watch out for, too. Okay, so the plan is to find whoever the Evocation Illager is first. Or maybe we kill all of his minions? I'm not so sure. This is round 10, by the way. Um, oh, yeah, real weird. So, the, the benefit of the collapse like this, by the way, I think a lot of people have, uh, you know, some, sometimes go like, what's the point of something so un Minecrafty? Is it means you do get to experience like some real creative stuff for free because it takes people like this a lot of time there's a whole team behind it etc um and all that money can be paid for by nerf as a way to get the map out to more people so there were coins in here i had to jump in but i don't see right now at least oh no i don't see right now where the evocation oh no it's not this is it is he gonna spawn after all the enemies do you think so the top left shows how many enemies are left in a round not how many there are I've killed. And so there's one left, and there she is. Or he is. It is. Chat, what what gender do you imagine evokers to be? You know, they've got they've got they've got too stern of a pose to to be a uh, a fella in my opinion. But maybe that's my crazy uh, personal opinion. Also, look at all the health he's got. Okay, he's dead. He's he, it's 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 gone. That's for sure. Oh, it's healing itself, maybe. Nah, not anymore. Round complete. And uh, we'll, we'll get some more darts. But as long as we shoot, as long as we pick up the things we shoot, we don't seem to be running into any issues. So the next round has 14 enemies in it. You can see just above my head. And uh, I've got 275 darts that I literally can't fire fast enough. Like this, this single action loading is causing me some real issues here. So I think what we'll do is to keep things fresh. At, okay, it's either 4,000 or 5,000. We'll switch out regardless of whether I die. Um, but I do think... Oh, I do think we're getting closer and closer to an actual death here. We have to jump on this. Bounce right over that. Uh, hope nothing else bounces up here. And then just get away. Get away real hard. Real fast. And then shoot from this distance. The skeletons have a shorter range than me. So as long as we do this, we're great. Yeah, look at me. I'm fine. But that was really, really close to danger. I think I want to get myself a hammer. Or something to go of this. Yeah, we can. We could probably keep going for a while. We could go for a lot longer if we got a uh, like a hammer and a more fun weapon. So I think we should prioritize that right now. Like, get, let's get a melee weapon and then maybe a crossbow or something too. Um, shulkers are uh, guns. You know, the difference between projectile and weapons and guns. It's all kind of semantic at some point, but also. You know, almost all things become like that. Like, you know, is this a gun in Minecraft? Or is this just a weapon that shoots projectiles at things? And it's like, well, I mean, it'd be silly to call this a, a pew pew first person shooter, right? No one's going, yep, Minecraft is now an FPS game. But there's also some other stuff going on here. Okay, this is a lot of money. And this is a lot of death. Round 13 complete. So I'm getting so close to 4,000. I think we'll bounce out at that point. Just because I want to see what wave 15's bosses look like. Um, every five waves, there seems to be a boss round. And I, I kind of, I just want to know, you know. So, yeah, the spiders can climb walls. As I probably should have expected before doing it. And uh, also, the amount of bullets you get is very, very, very... Uh, not negligible. Like, the, the number means nothing. It has no real value for you to need to compute. Which is wonderful. Um... Evokers identify. Okay, that's that's a weird comment. I'm not sure what it, what's going on there, but they might. I mean, if I'm eating them, then I guess they must be a cheeseburger, right? Also, dark package dropped. The yeah, the, the the I think the there could be more power ups and fewer dark packs, or the dark packs could be smaller, or that there's there's not really enough enough reason for me to want to pick them up. Right now, it's just yeah, I kind of shoot for as long as I feel like. I'm not being terribly accurate, but because it's a blast, you know, because it's a projectile. You know, it, it doesn't need to be terribly accurate on a big target like this. I've screenshotted the funny check DMs. 
You know, I'll check it out. Right now, it's kind of dangerous. Uh, bad time, some would say. I would say great time. Um, where about in the DMs? Don't see it. Okay, okay, I see, I see it now. It's on our... Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay, you did You did a fun thing. Thank you. It's, uh... I would love to show you internet, but the sandwich has been placed in here. Okay, so... Right now, there are three enemies left. And interestingly, even though they're nerf versions of the enemies, they still have that same behavior of hurting each other, which I like. Anyway, round complete. Now it's defend the village, bout the Ravager. That actually does sound fun. Chat, do you think I can kill a Ravager with a, with a nerf blaster? My instinct is to say no. Oh god. Um, yeah, my instinct is no, I cannot. But maybe if we just... Okay, this is actually quite easy. He has a lot of speed to him, but we can also fire just fast enough not to be a problem. Love this. Um, okay, so... Here we go. You are dead, my friend. Out, we're done. Okay, so... Nine enemies to go. And... Honestly... Things are easy peasy. Um... Yeah, oh, look, look at this. They, they've all got melee weapons, but they don't know they can climb the stairs. Okay, they do now. They've worked it out. They've solved the problem. Um, so now that we've finished 15 waves, we can just kind of say, good job us. Um, we did we did a nice, wonderfully... Uh, we, we did a, a, a good job here. But I think rather than just going forever on this, let's pick a harder map, and let's go in with better weapons. So wave 15, or round 15, has been complete. Just now. Yeah! And now we can leave Arena. We could always come back later, I guess. Oh, your progress is saved. Yeah, that's interesting. Returning to the hub. And now we can just come back in with better weapons. So, this is the blaster shop. Where I can buy a nerf weapon like in real life. Just gotta go in here with the right stuff. And I can buy a Say Brewing Rapid Fire Blasting Blaster. Or a Storm Lander. Or a Heart Stealer. Or a Pillager's Crossbow. So, the most expensive thing in the store is the Ender Dragon. I cannot afford that yet. But a Micro Shot... Oh, it's just a more expensive version of this one, I think. So, yeah, we definitely want to get the Stormlander or the Heart Stealer. Um, yeah, honestly, I feel like the Sabrewing sounds... No, actually, the Pillager's Crossbow could be much more handy than this. Rapid Firing Blaster sounds good, though. You know, we'll just we'll go with it. It sounds too interesting. It's the most expensive thing I can afford. And so I guess I'll take it. This is my Sabrewing. Oh my god, chat. <laughs> it's got a clip. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go through your bullets a lot faster with this, I think. So it's quite hard to shoot just one. But we'll go to the Never next. The Never Arena. Continuing progress. Start fresh from round one. Continuing pro- Can we continue in the Never from round 16? No, you've gotta complete 20 rounds of the Overworld. Wow, okay. So how do we unlock the one after this? Okay, if we want to go into the, the end. Complete 15 rounds of the nether. Okay, so that- There actually is a- Okay, I'm gonna go- There is a reason to keep going here. It's not valueless. The more we do this, uh, don't reset progress. Continue progress. So this is going to continue progress right now, right? Continuing progress. Yeah, let's go. In we go. I don't want to start again. I really can't. Round 16. Back in we go. I could have probably bought the 1,000 coin sword, but I want the I want the Ender Dragon Blaster, to be honest with you. So let's do it. I think that with all these bullets, I think we're going to need all these bullets, is what I'm saying. Because this thing is shooting a lot more at once. Oh, wait, is this starting again? No. Okay, no, it's round 16. Oh, but it did take away all my nerf bullets. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run into some problems, I think. But that's fine. Who doesn't have problems every now and again? Um, so we're gonna activate the lever. Okay. With a nerf bullet. And then we're gonna start shooting phantoms. Oh yeah, this is bad. So, let's test the same wing out. Okay, it's, it's actually slightly weaker to compensate for its higher attack speed. It's not actually the end or be all solution. Also, oh, look at that weapon transition. Ah, that's fun. It's not the end or be, sol be your solution to everything, but it does solve a lot of problems, don't get me wrong. We just also have to go pick things up 
quite frequently. Okay. So, shoot real fast, real hard, and then switch out to this. <laughs> okay, so you definitely need, this This is like a thing that you get after you have 300 pellets. It's a lot more useful then, because otherwise you do have to go back and actually pick them all up, which is fun. Bro has some SMG. Yeah, if anyone's ever played with a Nerf Blaster in real life, um, I think you can confirm. Like, you, all you want is to get something that shoots more, faster, harder, and better. Like, uh, you know, the only reason people buy them for you is because they're, like, not that harmful. But you kind of want the ones that are harmful, right? Also, there's one enemy left, but I don't know where he is. Do you think it's a phantom that's trapped somewhere? I think it's a phantom that's trapped somewhere. It always is, right? It's never, it's never what you expect. There's always something a bit weird going on. So let's look around in third person. Why did they have to alter the walk animation, do you think, though? That's the weirdest bit about this whole thing. What what possible reason is there for this? It's weird. It's weird. Saber wing. Saber wing. It's going to keep me clinging. Oh, I didn't, didn't expect the reload. So is there any easy... Okay, you can reload with right trigger on this thing. But we, ha we have one enemy left and I don't know where he is. It's got to be an enemy that's trapped somewhere. Is it a phantom? There it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is a, this is a terrible idea, chat. Uh, I'm going to shoot manually because I don't want to waste all my bullets. Yeah, he gets trapped underneath things. Um, so we should have to get far enough away that we can shoot that. Okay, can we shoot it? Yeah, it was that simple. 71 bullets to go and we're gonna pick up just whatever this is jump boost Yeah, this this seems better than it is. I think the SMG is uh, well, Sorry the saber saber wing Seems really cool, but I think it has a slight damage decrease to bounce it and That plus it's low low, you know ammo size means it's fun but not necessarily the best. <laughs> yeah, I think... I think it might be... I think that might be good balance, though. Like, you actually still want to use your 250 coin weapon, even when you spend 3,000 on the... on the second most expensive one. Which is good, right? You still have aspirations. Also, oh, interesting. They're climbing up there. Yeah, do you see that? Like, how effectively I'm taking out the enemies one by one? Versus this? It just, <laughs> it has so much spread on it, too. Uh, it just about kills the enemies. But much more than that, I'm not sure I'm able to say. Reload first. Shoot bullets later. Reload again. Shoot some more in there. It took 24 nerf pellets. But I think you'll, no, 32. 40 nerf pellets, but I could kill six zombies. So, not the biggest success in the world. Um... I, uh, if this is Minecraft turned into Overwatch or any other first-person shooter game, you can tell how weird it is to see Mojangs in a map, uh, guns in a map made by Mojang. So the weird thing is, is, um, it's basically, it's true for a lot of companies, but instead of making their own stuff, like, the average Microsoft employee is very well compensated, uh, and there isn't a whole map-making team in there. So instead, they have marketplace teams, and they're like, look, we'll pay you a fixed amount, just kind of, like, get this done, please. It's the way most companies run services like that, where it's like, we don't really want to do this in-house. So we'll just, like, contract someone to do it, maybe. Anyway, here we go. Do the zoom. Go it shooty, 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 shooty. And make sure we kill as many pillagers as we can. This this is actually real good. This is, this is the situation that this is meant for right here, I think. I, uh, being able to be, being backed in a corner and being able to shoot my way out. Very, very, very fun. Also, round 20 complete. We finally... Um, wait, I think after this round, we're going to get our hands on the nether. By the way, what the heck? Oh, dear God. Oh, no. Don't kill me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, Warden. Okay, so the Warden can't jump. Yes, he can. The Warden has no fear. This is bad. Oh, and also the Warden can still do its magical attacks. Just what I need to know right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get whatever this is. And we're just going to shoot the warden from down here. If he only shoots every now and again anyway, there's basically no downside. 
But look, we're doing no damage. Or effectively no damage, I should probably say. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna grab this. Jump boost. It just... I, I think it makes sense to shoot with one of these. Yeah, look, look at the damage difference. It's, um... No, stop making your weird noises. Stop getting towards me. I don't agree with this. I don't consent, Mr. Warden. Um... Almost wanted to ask if the warden jumps IRL. <laughs> I mean, implying the warden is not a real life creature is the offensive part of that comment. Okay. Okay. The good news is the warden basically can't kill you. It's very scary. Okay, never mind. I'm lying. I'm lying. Take that back. Take that back. I'm sorry I said that out loud. I didn't mean to imply you were weak. Yeah, the warden can't kill you and you can't kill it. Just spend all day firing at it. Um, oh, yeah, he can kill you. He can very much kill you. Only really at close range, though. His long range attacks seem like they'd hurt. Oh, but in general, do not. Also, he can probably knock you onto high places that you can't otherwise get to. So that's handy. There we go. Warden, you are going down. I'm hoping that when you finish round 20, there's like a natural end for this arena. But I genuinely don't know. It just these are them. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Stick to what works. Stick to what works, chat. You might not die if you do that. Ooh. Minecraft has now earned the genre of first person shooter. Honestly, I mean, I'm sure if, my, if, if they saw this was successful enough, they'd be like, well, maybe just maybe we should be doing this again. Also, he's dead. Never arena unlocked. So we can keep going. There's only four enemies in this next wave. I'm guessing it's four witches or something dumb. Oh no, it just starts again, chat. I think when you when you finish, it just starts again. Like, right, that's just a zombie. And then what's next? Yeah, that's disappointing. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. But it you know, it's better than not being able to go. If you it just doesn't feel like a challenge at this point anymore. So there are two zombies somewhere around here. And then it's going to start again from scratch. And then the only goal is to try and get the most things here. So, not too exciting. But we'll go out of here. We will purchase ourselves a new something or other. I want to buy a second blaster just to see if they're different, chat. I know this is a waste of money. But this one costs 500 and this one costs 250. This one costs two, two, 500. I just need to know. Is it a waste of my money? Yes. Am I doing it anyway? Also, yes. And then we'll also buy the Heart Stealer, just so we have a physical weapon. And then what we can do is we could line up... Uh, oh, that took over the slot. So we'll put this all the way over there. Oh, only three blasters at a time? Oh. Okay, yeah, this might recover faster, chat. What do you think? Is this the exact same? Or am I imagining it? it? It looks slightly cooler if nothing else. But yeah, poor, poor use of money. Very poor use of money. So we're going to try to go... Oh, the, it, it fires. Oh, that's so cool, actually. I like this. The Never Arena. What is the point of a Nerf sword that fires bullets? <laughs> that's not how swords work. But I love it anyway. You know, it's stupid, but I'm down. So we're going to go to the Never now. And we have to do 15 rounds of the Never to get to the end. And so let's do it. Um... They said the water wasn't meant to be defeated in vanilla Minecraft. No, they clearly meant in any custom map for any time, uh, Hexatown. Yeah, there's, um... The, uh... Oh, wow. So, this map... Uh, so, there are three clear maps to play. This is the Never. And I'm excited for it, chat. Um, it's gonna start easy, I assume. Oh. That's interesting. But, um... It's presumably gonna start easy and then work its way up. Also, I think we've got striders as little jumpy places. Oh, that's fun. Oh, don't don't land in the orange cubes. <laughs> okay, so you can shoot the striders, but you probably shouldn't on an emotional level. And we can also shoot with our sword. Do you think the sword works as a sword as well, or do you think it's solely a? What do you reckon, chat? I don't I don't actually know. I'm gonna try right now. Yeah, I think, I think it works as a sword as well as a blaster. It's a, it's definitely a lot better than the saber wing. That is my observation here. 
So we're going to run around, try and find where the power-ups spawn, and then try and be near that, because who doesn't want power-ups, right? If you don't want power-ups, I don't want you. Okay, so this is this is such a weird concept. <laughs> this is so, so, so weird. Oh, so wow, that's fun. Um, really, really, really silly, but also in a fun way. Also, we can shoot the magma cube through here. Love to see it. So we'll pick up the dart pack because my my sword is running low on ammo, of course. <laughs> and uh, also they've uh, they full custom end fight with the uh, ugly F dragon. Do you know they actually sell the uh, the dragon blaster in real life? I have no idea when Nerf and Minecraft set that deal up together, but it is a real thing that you can do. Also, what's through that portal? Do you think? I want to know. Is it just another way out? Because I came in a different way, right? Oh, it's a second never. No, it's a... Oh, it's a... You can go through from one part of the map to another. That's so cool that they... It's it's a really basic idea. But it's pulled off so well, I think. So let's shoot some people. Using the sword, of course. Oh, there's lots of it. There's lots happening in here. Yeah, let's, let's explore this map fully, too. I think if you're going to plan a map, you need to find somewhere that's safe to go. The... The worlds are quite well designed. I don't think the gameplay matches the world design. I think to, you know, to be a little, little critical here. Oh, I, I, I'm dead. Oh, I'm actually dead. So that, the, the blaze messes you up. The fire damage literally kills you. Um, GG. Oh, you just respawn? With, oh, uh, you respawn after do the same round again. So that it's at least nice in that way. It's not, you have to do this to this quality. It's like, do it this way or you have to start the whole round again. So definitely make sure you swing your sword at the blaze from nice and far away, where he can't hurt you. And, um, <laughs> so silly. Also rip wasted. So the goal is to make that my only death today, chat. If I, if that's my only death today, I'm feeling good about myself. If it's not, I have to feel bad about myself. That's the rules that we're playing by. What's this? Just so weird. Such, a, such an objectively strange weapon, I think. But we did it. Wave complete. Go pick up the money, because we want one of those dragon blasters. Like the better ones. This is a micro shot. You know, who, do I look like someone who's happy with a micro shot? But yeah, let's bounce up. And let's see if we can get inside of the Never Fortress. I keep seeing mobs in there, so you must be able to at some level. But I don't know what that level is. Also, look look at how weak this is. I'm shooting a whole clip into these guys. And they're just like, nah. Not right now, mate. Not right now. Maybe one day, but definitely not two days. So we have to use the heart stealer. Oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Let's jump in the portal to the other side of the world. Wait, what? Whoa. Never is... Okay. That is my last death of the game. Yeah, the never... The ever is real bad, uh, as uh, you put it here. So, I am gonna, I'm definitely gonna learn escape groups and I'm not gonna hang out in the open again. I, I was getting a little cocky, a little full of myself. This is much more challenging than the other world. And so I need to adjust my play style as such. Oh, and then maybe get snuck up on by a skeleton. So, um, yeah, we're gonna keep using the sword because it does give me health, which is important when stuff comes to me. I'm going to sit right here because this is where power-ups spawn sometimes. It's a bit weird to see a creeper in the nether. I, uh, I do have to say. And whenever things get a little too intense, I'm just going to jump out of that. And okay. Go somewhere else where I can't be hurt. And then run inside. Run up the ramp. Yeah, there's actually... This, this, this feels like a more balanced uh, difficulty, personally. Uh, it actually is encouraging me to, you know, use map design to my advantage. It's making me think about which enemies I attack first. That zombie piglin is not actually really worth my time in comparison to other things. Um, I should be going for the stuff that can mess me up, wreck me, etc. Uh, so that is what I will be doing. Okay, so there are enemies left over. I think they're underneath here, though. Yep. So now we switch out to the boat and we go for them. Yeah. All dead. Gee. Turn up the heat on the ghast and watch it sizzle. So I am terrified for the, um, I'm absolutely terrified for this. Because if, if the other rays have been messing me up already, 
the ghast will certainly do a good job. But for now, this does seem to be working. I'm firing my sword at the ghast, doing what we all wish we could do all the time. And uh, also, oh, look at that. You can see there's cameras up there, chat. Wait a minute. Is this canonically a TV show that I'm on right now? But yeah, ghasts are dealt with. No problems whatsoever. Uh, and all the other enemies are going for it too. Oh, uh, gotta watch out from behind. Good thing I spotted that by going into third person. And let's just fire as many arrows as we can at these guys. I think the, the magma cubes are best dealt with with this because there's just so many of them. So they make sense to do a lot of damage. A little bit of damage a lot of times. Rather than a lot of damage a few times. And so what's left? There is just a magma cube behind that wall. Let's go for it. Also, have you noticed how many times it says a uh, multiplayer hosting has stopped? Has anyone started getting that error message since 1.23.30? I never had it before. And I don't... The fact that it happens multiple times makes me think that it's not actually an error that's happening. But I'd like to know. Also, good to see you, cat. I, uh, no worries about the, uh... The, the lack of the notifications here. I, this map, said, they said it came out at 12, but it didn't come out until like hours later. And so I wasn't sure, like, is it coming out? Like, probably, but we certainly don't know when. Also, I want to get to the center there, which is surprisingly tricky. It's a weird, this is a weirdly laid out map. Um, but, it, you know, in a, in a fun way, I think. Like, once you learn it, it makes perfect sense. But because I haven't learned it, Kind of just a bit confused. So there's a rope down there. Oh, you can probably climb up that rope. Oh, don't kill me now, please. Don't kill me. You probably climb up that, I'm betting. And uh, for now, though, we'll just uh, kill some magmas for a wall. Keep an eye out for anything else that we need to kill. Because these are some scary guys. Also, when you kill the magma, does the enemy count go up? It does. It's, it's gone up from 11 to 12. So even though there's only 11 enemies to kill this round, it's actually going to go up a few times. Because there's a lot of magma cubes that have to go down. Yeah, very, very, very... Um, very, very repetitive wave this one is, I think. But also, I, I think it's fun to encourage you to use different weapons and work out like what works best. Like, okay, I'll try the regular blaster again. It's cheap, but maybe it's effective anyway. Oh, okay, you, you are... You, you take a lot more damage in than ever. Or never mobs deal more damage to you, maybe. That's the correct way to put that. But I'm going to have to really uh, work on my healing if I'm going to survive today. Oh. Which we're doing great at. We're doing just wonderfully at. Ooh. I, I do like... I do quite like quite a lot about this, actually, chat. Um, the, the first thing I like is that there are actually distinct weapons... And they're well enough balanced that you don't just feel like, yeah, I, there's going to be a... Oh, see what? I had plenty of health. The... Even the, ne the the magma cubes are dealing far more damage than I'm expecting. I... Like, I, I was I was fairly sure I was safe there. But now I'm starting again on one of the longest waves. I can see why unlocking the end only requires 15 of this. This is going to take me longer than 10, 20 waves in the other world. Yeah, we're actually going to chase the mobs around. As much as we can, at least. And also keep in mind that we can jump on fences on this. So we'll, we'll be, it'll be fairly handy. Uh, Minecraft had the word nerf and ran with it. Yeah, everyone was complaining about the, uh, the trading nerfs. And they're like, well, if you really want nerfs so bad, I guess we'll have to work out a DLC with them. Or like people are saying nerf the Elytra. And they're like, fine. We'll work out a way to nerf the Ender Dragon. I don't know why people would want that so bad, but we'll see if the company has any ideas. Um, that is 100% how this map came to be. Don't question it if you don't believe it. So, yeah, look at this. I'm, I'm really badly hurt again. The jump boost is not going to help me. But maybe if I fire this, I'll get... Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. We have to really, really, really watch out for magma cubes. They are a peril and a threat to my well-being. Uh, in every single way. And so I'm just going to keep running. There's so many magma cubes. <laughs> There's so many of them. Um, just keep on using this sword. Because the sword does give me health back. And then keep walking backwards. As we do this. Oh. This short sword didn't shoot darts. I don't know what this thing is. Does the real life nerf sword not fire darts? It's not a nerf sword then. It's just a sword. Unless it fires nerf darts, not a nerf weapon, legally speaking. 
Uh, that's those those are the rules. I don't make them. I just enforce them. So yeah, blazes are the biggest nightmare of this because of the fire damage they do. But also they can fly around the world like that. So lots of reasons to fear these things. I think it goes about saying. Oh, yeah, and also add on to that the fact that you can't see. It's real terrifying. So we'll sit back here and kind of work where things are safe looking. Avoid the nerf darts that come from these guys. Because they're flaming nerf darts. Wait, actually, that sounds like a fun idea. Like, have you ever had a nerf gun and feel like, oh, this doesn't hurt people when you shoot it? If you if you like the nerf, nerf pellets on fire. Might just be onto something there, right? Okay, so we can kill these people quite easily, I imagine. Oh, yes, we can. And, um... Oh, what is in here? I haven't noticed this stuff just now. There's some ancient debris and gold. That's charming. That's really charming. Um, I have the Nerf Sword IRL, says G Gabriel Cadera. Could you tell me why? Like, what the, what the appeal of it was? I have a genuine curiosity as to why. It could just be like, well, it goes with the other weapons that you have. But it feels like you could probably buy a Minecraft sword or something like that, you know? Also, hitting that blaze is quite hard. I think he's experienced now, though. So maybe I should stop trying. There are a few areas we can't get to very easily. Can we do parkour up there? Can we do parkour up here? No. Um, also, there's a lot of coins lying around. I think I should start... I should put more effort into picking up these. Because if they're everywhere anyway, I should be doing that. Also, that's so funny. <laughs> Just a piglin bouncing around by himself. Let's bounce around after him. See where he's gotten to. Okay, he's definitely dead. Where are the other ten enemies? You'd figure I'd see them, but... Nope, we'll switch out. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Easy. Switch out to this. Do some fun little firing. Okay. I'm fine. Everything is fine. I promise you it's all good. No issues here, that's for sure. So, yeah, the cool thing about this weapon is I do heal health, which is so important when a blaze hits you. Like, just like in regular Minecraft, in the Minecraft where you aren't shooting uh, pellets at everyone, uh, blazes are bad. You do not want them this close to you ever because they hurt. And so we need to keep that in mind. No one wants to be hurt. And everyone knows hurt people hurt people. So it's, uh, it's a multi-layer equation. The amount of hurt you can avoid by being hurt just kind of exponentially goes up. Also, we're only 600 away from getting that nerf dragon. I need to know. I just need to know what it's like. I beat the dragon while it still had a little bar of health left. SMH says, said P124. I'm glad it's not just me who's uh, who thinks it's a bit weird about that. It makes sense that, obviously, uh, the dragon... It makes sense that the bosses have a health bar, but having a little bit missing at the end is, is very weird. Very, very weird. Speaking of weird, where are all the enemies? There's eight of them, but I can see none of them. Maybe they spawn in one area and they don't look until you go up to them? Nope. Uh, they just don't exist yet. We'll wait for them to spawn. We can we can wait. I can I I I have a lot of patience. Uh, that's not true, but I can pretend to have lots of patience. Um, also, socialism to six of Taron. Not in the Never, damn it. There's one rule: we do not talk about socialism in the Never. Um, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to the rules here. I want to use this jump boost to get up there. Actually, um, there's a few places I think you can only get with jump boost. Okay, let's go up and then up. And up again. So this looks like it's a place that's only accessible with jump boost, right? Yeah, there's a whole secret area you can get to. That's fun. And then if I use it again, I'll jump up to here, then up to... Oh, that's a secret. Okay, you can't access that at all. Can we jump up here? No, we lost our jump boost. But yeah, we have found just one enemy so far. And he is now dead. Hopefully we find something else. But no promises just yet. Oh, there we go. See, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. This is all I needed. Just give me something. Give me some sign that there's something for me to kill. And I can kill it. Very slowly. But I can kill it. And then all this all this collateral damage right here. It's what I love. Everyone loves collateral damage. It's their favorite thing. Yeah, these blazes are actually a really interesting element. Because you know you need to kill them quickly. They can die before they attack once. 
but you need to get them dead because otherwise they are your death. I like that mixed in. Like every enemy has its reasons to avoid it. And that is nice. We are 200 coins to go. Um, also, you can get um, Big Salmon merch at ibxtoycat.store. It is true. Do you want to represent your love of the world's biggest salmon? You can get some Big Salmon Energy shirts at ibxtoycat.store. Or if, like me, you believe that every day is a Monday, you can have a shirt that represents that. I, I, I like this one in particular. Uh, make sure to do so. Or don't. It's, it's up to you, really. Speaking of things that are up to you, um, I, uh, good to see you, Dasher. I uh, hope you're doing wonderfully. Uh, how are you doing on this fine Monday morning? Monday evening. Um, I'm doing great too. Thank you for asking. See, look, I'm, I'm, I'm pre-doing the conversation. Um, just locking this thing down right here. Okay, so this, this ghast is giving me some problems. So we'll switch out to one of these and just go for it. <laughs> oh no, this isn't working. Oh, it does work, actually. You can solve all your problems with a rapid fire Minecraft, though. Oh, not this one, actually. Not this one at all. Yeah, this, this weapon does have its place. It's just genuinely not as good as a sword, which is funny to say in Minecraft. Um, oh, don't finish me off. Um, yeah, it's not as good as a sword. Funny though that may be. So now we just need to bounce over to that. We'll pick up those coins. That might actually be enough to get me over the... No, it's so close. 5,000 and I can buy the best weapon, chat. So I think we're going to finish this blaze off or this uh, magma cube off. Take his cash and say, yep, that is good. I am making a huge life upgrade now. The hoodies at ibxtoycat.store are so soft and cozy. You know, it is soft and cozy season upcoming. If you don't have one, you're seriously missing out, I hear. Okay, so this is... Oh, by the way, we can buy dart capacity. You get 48 extra darts to start with. That's interesting. But I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna buy one of these. Ender Dragon Micro Shot. Let's go. Oh, I mean Ender Dragon Mega Shot. So it's a formidable blast of powerful enough to eliminate some mobs in a single hit. I could do one of these. Oh Love yeah. Videos, man. Love oh. listening to your podcast and the slow pace showing your personality more really makes it superb. Thank you, uh, Mr. Paul. Uh, or you know, Paul Mister. I, I'm not not here to judge your name. I, I I really am glad you like the, uh, the the videos. That's that's something nice to say. But I I, I think uh, I I've said this before. I'm a, I'm a big big believer in the the long form conversation as a way to learn about things and ideas. Um, and I'm glad that you agree with that. I, there are times where the most concise way to get a point across is something that's really important to know. But also there are times where it's actually, uh, it's great to have that longer discussion about something. Also, look how ridiculous this is, chat. I'm, I'm excited to do it nonetheless. But also, can we all agree it is ridiculous? I'm gonna shoot some things. <laughs> oh, it's shooting four at a time, though. Okay, we need to go pick that up. Oh, yeah, these are really powerful. So the only downside to this is ammo use, right? Like, this is this is just shredding things. Yeah, we've used up all the ammo. Oh, yeah, we have. Oh, no, I'm dead. I've used it all up. Okay, so that's a valuable lesson to learn here. <laughs> we can shoot and we can kill one enemy at a time with this. But one enemy at a time is not good enough always. Oh. I just got myself the dragon shotgun, but then I, got, I think the there was probably some bug in there that caused me to get hit three times in a row, which is fine. Okay, we'll try that again. Round 11. Start from the scratch. Jump boost time. So yeah, when you die, you have to start the whole wave again, which wasn't that big of a deal, but it's so annoying that it happened, right? And uh, yeah, we, we luckily will be able to keep most of our stuff here. Also, just look at the power this thing has. It really is wild, to say. Okay, so there we go. Reload. Oh, and you get 12 per per clip, too, by the way. So really, really is just... Goes without saying, the best weapon. But still, you'd want to use other ones sometimes, right? This is good for killing big groups of enemies. And even for a single guy like this. Like, okay, does the job. 
But it's still not heads and shoulders overpowered on the rest. You would want to have two other weapons to go with your silly nerf ender dragon. And I like, I love good um, game balance. Also, you missed Ancient Debris, says Big Salmon. <laughs> you can get Big Salmon uh, merchandise and it can't even tell you when you missed uh, various items. Just saying, would recommend. Crowd control gun in Minecraft. Yeah, everyone everyone needs crowd control sometimes, right? Everyone needs crowd control. Sometimes it's uh, it's a Black Friday sort of, sort of crowd control. Sometimes it's real life crowd control. Or sometimes it's uh, FPS crowd control. But we all do need crowd control. It's a fact of life. Well, so we've got seven bullets in here now, which is interesting to imagine. Thank God for the extra darts. Finish both these enemies off. Yeah. These, these things are so, so, so powerful, by the way. It really, really is worth going for. Also, power up dropped. Let's go get it. Power in. Power up. No, no, not a blaze. Blaze is immediate death. They shoot. Basically, that's how this works. So, yeah, we shoot. And we kill. And there's not really a lot of in between, which is nice. Look at that. Just melt it. Um, but it still does have a challenge to it because a lot of enemies can finish you off so quickly that it doesn't matter how fast you kill them if they don't get the jump on it. Also, look, there's a climbing wolf here. Oh, that's, that's cutesy. So, uh, this, this map is filled with things you will pick up. Also, ouch, ouch, ouch. 11 misses out of 12 there. But what matters is getting that final one in. And finally having enough uh, ammo that when... I, I think we can make it to round uh, 15 and be kind of wasteful too. We really need to be. I can just spam bullets all day now. Um, yeah, the, the the ammo limitation isn't really there. At some point, you get to the point where, even if I was using the most inefficient weapon I had, because you get all the nerf bullets at the end of the round back, it doesn't really matter um, how much ammo usage there is. Because I think the biggest downside of this weapon would just be that you, you use up four bullets per shot, regardless of how many you need. But because four bullets is the equivalent of, you know, one bullet, once you get to a certain point, um, there's a, there's a, yeah, there's a balance uh, concern in here, I'd say. But for now, what we see in big, big blaze, I mean, big cube, making big dead. Oh no, they're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. No. Okay. Ooh, such a waste. Also, banish the wither's shadow is a very terrifying message. Let's see if we can't do that though. So I don't see a wither. There he is actually. Oh, and you can shoot him while he's seated. Okay. So I'm going to keep doing this. Going to go absolutely wild for killing the wither. And we're going to see what we can do. He is actually firing wither blasts at me, by the way. Yeah, this this is the wither is a good example of where this doesn't work, it seems. Okay. The wither is... Oh, what am I... What, what is killing me right now? What killed... Oh, the wither blast. Like, the wither is genuinely very hard, but I don't know why. I don't know what killed me in that. I think it must have been the withering skull effect. But I think your health bar doesn't go all the way to zero. It goes to like 20 or something. Which is strange. But yeah, kill the enemies, then kill the wither. The wither spawns in there, but I'm not interested in the wither. I'm interested in literally everything else besides the wither. Use the ender dragon to kill the ender dragon. I'm excited for that idea. So someone said earlier that they killed the ender dragon. And so, logically, if we've had the Warden, now the Wither, uh, we might have the Ender Dragon as the next boss. But yeah, let's use the Saber Heartwing, just so we can stay nice and healed. And let's see if we can't... Oh. See if we can't deal with the biggest threats we have. Like this blaze. Go down. Oh, no. Ooh, okay, we need to heal right now. Oh, no, don't kill me. Also, DX Cat says Chris H. Thank you so much, Chris H. Uh, absolute uh, hero of the stream recently. I'm I'm glad to, glad to see you again. I hope you're enjoying my my playthrough of a very weird Minecraft map here. I um I think it's really cool when we start to see familiar names and the uh, tip things. Um, even when they're not the the biggest, it's always be like, oh yeah, this is someone who uh, wants to be consistently supporting. Oh, we're gonna die! Look, look at my health bar. Okay, <laughs> we do. This time we did not. Thankfully, I am going to live another day. Uh, but I need to desperately heal up for that. Look what the blaze is doing. He's like sidestepping me weirdly. Um, 
we need to get every other enemy dead before we can even think about the wither. Because he... Look at that. The, that effect is just too powerful. It's too darn good. But yeah, the wither won't get me while I'm inside, I think. Oh, look. No. Okay. That is the minimum health we can get, I think. So we're going to sit inside and just wait for the health to come back. Slowly but surely. Maybe finding a blaze or a piglin along the way. But yeah, every single one of the Wither's Blasts are a bit too powerful for my liking. Uh, but I'm sure we can we can counteract that if we try our best. For now, let's run around. Um, probably best to keep this thing replenished. Go. Uh, yeah, th this is the best weapon for non-Wither enemies, I think. For the Wither, it's probably going to depend on the range that I am. So we want nothing else to be able to hurt me. Like, physically, just... Not to be in range of me. So that I can focus 100% my energy on the wither. Um, that is a hard ask, I'll admit. Is that the wither there or is that a camera? That's a camera. It's a hard ask. But it's one that I'm going to focus on. A power up just dropped. So we'll pick up this. We'll pick up that. And then I'll go hard on the wither. Imagine if this became a real nerf course. Yeah, I feel like... That's the fun thing about making concepts like this is... Also, can you climb this? You can't. Okay, it just looks kind of like you can. I think making it this realistic format where there are little balls you can jump into actually makes you think, yeah, I'd go to one of these. If they made a nerf arena in the real world, wouldn't you be so hyped to go to it? I don't know if you would. I know I would. I would care. That's my point. I would find it interesting. Am, am, am I not everyone? You know, the answer is, of course I am. So... The Wither is a little bit of a stubborn beast. But I'm thinking just avoid everything else. Go. Okay, this is not working. The Wither is too high up. And there is no realistic way for me to get there without jump boost. Because, okay, I had jump boost as I was saying that, but not anymore. So, yeah, I guess we could like kind of shoot over the top here. Yeah, it works. Okay. You can see I'm getting the hit markers to tell me that I'm shooting. We just shoot slightly higher. We'll do great here. Or maybe we could shoot through the floor of this. No. the We need to get the wither out. She's in a bad place right now. And I need to do my best to get her out of there. So, yeah. I I think jump, jump, jump all the way. Power up has dropped, by the way. That is exciting sounding. Because I, I don't think I can do much right now chat do you do you see what i can do because i the the two the only way to get up there is basically a jump boost which the game is giving me repeatedly so it's probably begging me like use the jump boost go kill the wither i don't know why you're not doing it right now so we'll jump up to the place where we can do that uh we will use the nerf dragon it's a lovely lovely little tool we can have no i can't jump up here maybe i can jump up here and then jump onto here and then onto here there we go we're in we're going for it Oh, Lord. No! Just two hit KO. Just immediately. You can't charge the Wither with a shotgun. The Wither does not get killed by this. Also, how'd you kill the Wither? You outwit her. <laughs> you know, I, I hate that that's a, that's a well put together joke. Disappointing, but also good job, Dasher. Um, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, just instant death. We went from feeling like basically nothing could kill me to feeling like everything will and is eventually going to kill me. Um, so, she, yeah, speaking of killing things. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I've died again. I'm sorry. You deserve you deserve more than this. But you shan't get it from I. Um, okay. Reload again. Shoot these guys. There's two blazes. I need to be ready to... No! Okay. Reload. I can't see. Wait, there's another blaze around here somewhere. There he is. Okay, so we we can fo focus as much time on these enemies as we like. But the wither is what I'm here for, so let's make sure we do it. Yeah, this is this <laughs> this weapon is really bad at shooting things at any distance, right? It does really well up close, really bad anywhere else. So now that we've done the basics. Let's go kill the Wither again. There's five enemies left, so there's one non-Wither. Because I think she's going to spawn three Wither Skeletons that count. Um, that's the Wither there. So we just don't get hit by the Wither while shooting the Wither a lot. 
We can't shoot the skulls back out. We just the, the blue ones are the bad ones too, by the way. Oh no, the black ones are bad. It seems. So we're just gonna shoot from this distance where she's not hurting me back, and we're gonna do a lot of heart stealing to gain health from the wither, right? Oh no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, go back here. Yeah, I think I think you almost need to cheese the wither into a corner where she won't see me, but I can see her. And this seems to be one of those corners. She's so far away that she doesn't even know what to do. And then when she least expects it, I pull out the real expensive weapon, reload it fully, give it a whole ton of darts, I'm just gonna shoot and then back away over and over again. Okay, get out. Shoot, back away, go. Oh, she's got to half health. There we go, that's good. Shoot, back away, reload. Shoot, oh, where did she go? Where did she go? Oh, Lord. Get away from this. I don't like that. I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with this at all. Ooh. But yeah, that now there are wither skeletons that exist somewhere that I need to be keeping an active eye on because I will die if I do not. Um, I guess this is really a good situation for the heart stealer. I'm, if you're about to die, having a chance of regaining health seems like a pretty good idea. So just, okay, she's dead. All of the other things are dead. It's just the wither left. There's one enemy to go. And I am just about handling this by keeping her on the other side of this fortress. Yes! Oh, just in time. I think that would have killed me otherwise. Yeah, look at it, look at it. That's my life over. That is, uh, yep. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it if I hadn't killed her just then. Yeah. We can now go to the final nerf arena. And I'm excited. The Wither is an independent queen. You know, give her credit where credit is due. Uh, she is an independent. You know, she, she doesn't let anyone else tell her what to do. She thinks her own thoughts up and it's great. Um, so, oh, but we, we now have uh, unlimited ammo again. We can just fire this as much as we like, including at this to become the end arena. Wait, is the, is the nerf arena even harder to get yet? Do you go overworld, never, and then nerf? Let's see what the nerf condition is, by the way. Nerf arena unlocked, defeat the nerf ender dragon. Okay, let's find out. I need to know. So we'll go all the way back to the end arena, and we'll start this from scratch. This is what the end looks like. It is very, very nice effects. Like, look at the visuals on this. It's just so nice here. Oh god, I can't, I can't prevent this from taking me now. In we go. I just got hit. So, how do you like or not like this? So, I love horde-based game modes. Um, so, I think I have a bias towards liking this. But at the same time, oh, this is odd. Um, I think this is a really cool proof of what you can do. It's got a few rough points around the edges, and the game balance isn't perfectly there. But for a co-branded piece of work, where they're, you know, just, they just pay the flat amount to get it done, this is cool. Oh, is it just one nerf dragon? There's no waves to do here, there's just a dragon somewhere we have to kill. Where do you think she is? I would love to play around on this in real life, by the way. I would kill. Literally, I would murder. With a nerf weapon or without. But yeah, right now I don't see where the dragon is. Is this a dragon or is this just a, a thing I can walk up? Oh, there's the nerf dragon. So she flies away and then she comes back. And I've got to kill her when she's here. But the good thing is the best way to kill the dragon is with the dragon. Oh, but we have to blast the crystals first. Okay, that's cute. So blast the crystals. Is that a crystal? Oh, the crystal's like down there maybe? Yeah, that's the crystal. And, uh, you can... Oh, I'm out, of I'm out of ammo. Oh, gosh. I should have thought about this. So you need to have uh, restraint for this. And more importantly, just use something that goes one weapon at a time. Um, there is a nerf dart pack somewhere around here. And I need to go running around and find it. So again, very nice environment. It, it has this great blend of the source material Minecraft. And like what a real one of these things could look like. And look, there's a slide here too. That's really fun, really goofy. Like why would there be a slide in a place where you go to fight the dragon? I don't care, I don't know, just look at this. Whee! <laughs> so stupid, so ridiculously stupid. Um, but in the best way, right? In the best way. So 
Um, a dart package drop. I'm guessing there's going to be one below here somewhere. Oh, in fact, it's right behind. Us. So now we've got enough darts that hopefully we can finish the dragon by doing this. So, um, these towers are still lit, which means shoot them down. This one's probably going to require a bit of climbing, or no, it doesn't. Just shoot right there. And that one requires some thinking outside the box. How do we get inside that tower? There's got to be an access point, right? If it's not here, it's going to be down underneath. Or maybe... Yeah, that's that's weird. We're going to have to get in there somehow. I'm guessing there is an access point um, over here. Nope. There's, 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 there's something up there. In the nether, it's funny. You say you will die so much, and then you don't. And then you're randomly doing, you're like, I actually died. Um, it's how life is sometimes. Also, um... Yeah, I guess... Oh, there we go. There's a hole up here. We bounce into the hole, and then from here, we shoot it. So that means we've now taken down all of the lights, I think, besides that one. Okay, so same thing over there. We have to jump in from an angle we're not expecting, I presume. And, uh... Or maybe we bounce up here first. And then from here, we can shoot it through the walls, hopefully. No, wouldn't... Can't be that easy. So we go down underneath this and just... Oh, it's that simple. I was, in fact, under there. So now the dragon is going to be vulnerable. Which means we shoot the dragon with the dragon. It's dragon on dragon action time. We've all been waiting for it. So I'm going to confirm we can do the damage. Yes, we can. Now we just blast her. Real good. The dragon loves getting blasted with dragons. Um, and yeah, this would be a good idea, but it has the big fatal flaw. Okay. It does have the fatal flaw of using up far too many nerf pellets, which we are using in limited supply. So instead, we're going to try the nerf saber wing, and if that doesn't work... Yeah, I'm guessing there's going to be a damage issue here. There is. So we'll use the weapon. Okay, so the enderman is avoiding me in the worst way. Um, so yeah, we're going to instead use this. Nope, it just doesn't do enough. If we want to hurt the dragon, we're going to need to use uh, this. But unlike... Oh, we, we could try and fire directly up so the pellets come back down and we can use them. But we are running into a bit of a problem here. Um, which is that the most powerful weapon is not functioning correctly for this. Um, it's, a bit, it's a very different dynamic to the other stages, but not necessarily in a fun way. <laughs> yeah, the Nerf Dragon's a little bit of a silly thing. Dragon on Dragon Action Time is what you see on recommended Minecraft live streams. I hear Minecraft's been working on that, but it is, yeah, that's, uh, that is, uh, that is one of those 24-7 streams that's on loop to do a thing. Oh, the, the, the crystals healed, by the way. The crystals have healed. So just every now and then we have to go through, retake out the crystals. So most of these are easy, but this one isn't. This one requires a bit of, wait. This one requires shooting through the gap. This one requires going up for, and that one requires going round. Weird system. We're gonna have to take. I think we have to take down the crystals like four times. This is gonna be a grind, but I'm hoping. Um, yeah, if the, if the crystals are gonna be a bit of a grind, at the very least, um, there's gonna be some big reward for killing the dragon. There has to be, right? I mean, as well as unlocking the nerf world, there has to be some fun gain for all this pain. So there we go. Shoot up. That should be the dragon ready to, to go, I think. Pick up the speed boost. There's no use for it, but it makes me run faster, and I like that. Um, yeah, no crystals left, so time to go. Um, so I'm going to slice and dice the dragon, as she loves to be done, with a nerf weapon. And when she gets real close, we whip out the blaster, and hope some of these bullets come back to Earth. If they don't, that's fine too. But what matters is we're trying. Blast. 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 Oh, we're doing a lot of damage. We're, we might only have to do this one more time. One more wave of dragon uh, lights. In fact, what is that over there? Okay, the dragon lights are back. That's fine. So hit that. Hit this. Hit this. This is, this is actually a fun fight. You know, it's a fun representation of it. It's very, very goofy. But in a charming way. I, I have to, I hate to say, but it is true. It's a, it's a charming representation of something fun. And uh, yeah, now we can get up to the top of this. If only because 
I want to I wanna get whatever nerf weapons are up there. And using the slide is just a fun secondary benefit. The, the Endermen are a weird thing for this. Uh, how do I get up there, by the way? Are you meant to climb up the slide to get up there? Is there not meant to be a way? They wouldn't put weapons up there if they didn't want me to. So there is some, some way we're meant to do it. I strive to be goofy in a charming way, says Dasher. It's so anyone can ever- Oh god, no, 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 don't kill me. Oh, it's the dragon. That's fine. I can avoid- No, 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 no! Oh. Oh, let me out this- Let me out. Let me out. Okay, so... That was scary. I don't want to die with this little to go, you know? Okay, that's dead. I need these darts quite desperately. So I can now reload the dragon. She is loaded. And uh, now we're going to go shoot that last one down. Yeah, it requires a little bit of, like, fort. You know, you have to do a little bit of the nerf course. Um, which is fun. And there we go. Finish it off. The dragon is vulnerable again. Which means we can shoot her with our sword. Which is just funny to say out loud every time. Um, so we do have to shoot these each and every time. Oh, stop. Whoa, he's good. He's good. He's avoiding. Every time we shoot, it feels like he pre-avoids. Um, but yeah, we, we have no time for this. We just have time for nerfing the dragon. Oh no, he's on half a heart. Oh, okay. No, that's done. New nerf arena unlocked. And a dragon defeated. We did it. We beat the game. That is the nerf uh, battle arena. The nerf, nerf world, rather. Uh, fully beaten. Except there's one little fun bonus. When you're done with it, it looks like we get one further thing to do. Which is the nerf arena. What does this look like? Well, it's the reward for beating the game, so I hope it's damn good. Also, wait, I think we'll finally switch out our Saber Wing for the crossbow, because this just isn't good. We just are not using it. Do not spend 3000 on it. Instead, maybe buy a Pillager's crossbow with multiple precise shots. It sounds like a better version of the default blaster. Yeah, it sounds like a default blaster with uh, piercing on, which seems good to me. So we'll try it out. We'll play some Nerf. Uh, world Arena, and we'll celebrate our victory over the dragon. I, uh, dragon defeated with dragon. Yeah, the dragon is the way to take out the dragon. Like, save up money for it. It's a good weapon. I, um, also, uh, how did I not think of this during the wither fight? Mojang is clearly hinting at nerfing the wither. I mean, again, someone was clearly like, Mojang, you need to nerf all of the mobs. And they're like, I, sounds like a lot of work, but we'll, we'll, we'll get starting on it, I guess. We'll have to hire a whole studio to make it. But we can do that. So yeah, this is... Oh, so there are there are now zombies and zombie piglins, even though it's a nerf arena. That's a fun idea, I guess. Oh, and also the crossbow has a limited ammunition. So it is actually... It's not better in every way than a, uh, than a blaster. Because a blaster keeps going at one a bullet forever. This fires faster for free, then has a pause. And then faster for free more, I think. Which is an interesting trade-off, so... Blast and blast and blast and blast. Yeah, this is this is the I, I think this is the best setup. I haven't tried the the Stormbreaker yet. I can't confirm for sure, but I think this is the setup you want to use. And yeah, now you can play on the Nerf World for as long as you like. I assume there's no benefit for completing this, but yeah, if you if you want to use a dragon, it's a lot of fun. I do have to say, but the crossbow is uh, is a lot more akin to your first weapon. You know, it keeps it real in a way. And so if you want that, that's what I would say here. Otherwise, I'm going to look around and see if there's anything else that's changed here. Um, uh, well, you know, this this is a, a fun little um, horde-based, you know, shooting thing that has been put in the game for free by Nerf and indeed the studio. I believe it was Orville, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that's fun. I think that's fun. Did you think this was fun, Internet? I, um... I think the biggest uh, thing to say about it... By the way, this is practice range. So, there are four areas that we've gone to the shop. The info room is where we spawned. And then there's the practice range where maybe once you feel you've mastered your skills, or maybe once you've just got a, one of these, you can try and time yourself again. And that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to see if I can beat 1 minute 15, which was my previous time. Um, I guess the challenge is like working out the most effective weapon in terms of the time per shot. There is no down, uh, no upside for getting more damage on this, so yeah, let's go for this. Oh, let's do it. 
Uh, I, want, I want to set a good enough target. Oh, the people... Uh, my goal is to set a good enough time that people try to... Oh, it's so hard. Uh, I want to set a good enough time that people want to try and beat it. Um, but I don't think I'm going to achieve that right now. Although, actually, look, I just found a little little shortcut. <laughs> it took me a while to do it, but it is, in fact, a shortcut once you do. There's a target here. There's four targets here. And then I think I missed another target, chat. Okay, I'm going to level view. I need to go back and find that target I missed. Where is it? Where's where's the missing target? Um, Over there? It's got to be that one, right? Yeah, yeah, nope, that's not it. It's not that one. There's a target. Is it this one that I missed? Nope. Okay, I missed the target somewhere in here. Uh, we're going to run back through the course. Make sure I hit it. Is it this one? That's the one. There we go. Okay, so we'll start again. <laughs> knowing that there are three targets there. And we're going to see if we can beat this in less than a minute. And even, maybe even set a time that's worth trying to beat here. So, I'm going to leave. Practice course cancelled. Let's go again. Go. Okay, so then we're going to jump over this barrier, which is entirely okay. We're going to hit that third thing over there. Run over, jump over another barrier. There's one hidden behind that. We have to, I'm, I'm nice and high for this because it's real far away. Uh, jump onto that. Oh, we landed badly. Okay, jump onto this. Shoot it. I, I, I love the idea of time trials. Like, you know, speed running is effectively what most people call it. But the idea of doing something, then trying to do it again faster and faster... I think this hits that spirit kind of well, more so than the rest of the game. It's a nice addition to what is meant to just be like a, you know, again, horde-based shooter inside of Minecraft, which is a very weird set of words to say out loud. Also, you know what, chat? I missed another one again. I only hit 14, 15, 16 targets. There is one missing, and I don't know how. But yeah, we could, in theory, do this in just under a minute if we find that last target. So, <laughs> that is 54.3 uh, with not all the targets hit. Let's try and hit all of the targets. So, um, there's one over there I think I missed, basically. Then there's one over here, one over here, one over there, one over the end there. This one way up there, which we've, of course, gotten now. I'm going to wait till I'm over here to turn for both of these at the same time. This and this at the same time. There's one over there we need to hit. It's weird doing this with a, with a sword, but we've got it. Uh, one over here is, of course, important. This might actually be the biggest benefit of the of the bow, is being able to, like, rapid fire hit stuff like this. Uh, like, we'll switch out to the dragon for this, like... Oh, this is not working as intended. Oh, no, this is... Oh, God, it doesn't work at all as intended. This is awful. You gotta... Okay, so, pro tip. Don't use the dragon. It makes this the worst and hardest challenge. But just like that... No, no, no! Oh. <laughs> just like that, 56 seconds. Um, also, bows shoot things as well. Yeah, the bows are the way to do this. Okay, let's try this one more time. Set a, set a personal best. Um, I'm gonna try this again until we get it right. Jump in there as we're shooting. Okay. Jump in there as we're making the shot, right? Uh, that way we can jump straight over, uh, hit this one and this one at the same time. Making sure we come back for this one, of course. Then we're going to hit the one in the corner. And then we're going to run, hit that one over there from afar. Shoot to the left for this one. Love to see it. This one and this one right here are going to land at the same time. Uh, get some lovely sword hits in there. Shoot through the gates for this one. It is technically doable. Shoot through the gates for that one as well. Now we can just focus on running, although we could probably should have shot at the same time as running there, but it's fine, we didn't. Um, at the end of this, shoot that. Um, we're going to swing the sword for all three of these. Oh, you know, we thought under a minute would be tricky, but now we're about to break a lot less than under a minute, and as long as one doesn't fall under the sky, yeah! 48 seconds. That is my time. I would love to see if you beat that if you happen to play this. Uh, let me know what your score is in the comments down below. Because this was streamed live on the YouTube channel, you can check out all my live streams by going to the live tab and indeed subscribing, perhaps with notifications turned on, uh, because I've had a wonderful time streaming today. I like checking out new maps like this. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to do this for more of the weird co-branded stuff because there's some real gems mixed in with a lot of weird branding. And I think this one hit the nice spot between being a fun map by itself and also probably convincing people to try out some more nerf stuff, right? Do you want to buy yourself a nerf ender dragon now? Let me know also. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think I think this was actually a real good time. I hope you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to see more of these. Because for now, I have been IBX Toy Cat. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Oh, also tomorrow is uh, probably going to be the first Minecraft live announcement. It's going to be a lot of fun. So see you there. And also I'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn about why I think mob votes are a little bit flawed. Um, so just uh, leave a link in there just to test something else. Uh, but yeah, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed because I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I'm, I'm shooting you to make you leave.